In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add depth to a 2D symbol in SketchUp so that, for example, this throw gives the illusion that it's actually draped either side of this bed and instead of appearing quite flat the way it looks at the minute. So as you can see, I have a floor plan here. It's been created entirely in 2D. So if I just change the camera view, you can see that there is absolutely no 3D geometry in this floor plan at all. It's all 2D. But with a few little tricks, you can create the illusion of further depth by using different shades and tones of the same color, okay? And a lot of the 2D symbols in this floor plan are actually available in a SketchUp file that we provide in course three, creating a furniture layout and lighting plan. Um, these are all pre-constructed 2D symbols to help you get started with regards to the creation of your floor plans. And if I just zoom in, you can see the bed right here with the throw, okay? So back to our floor plan. What I'm going to do is show you now very quickly how to add a little bit of lovely detail without having to spend too long doing that. And it just makes a difference between a pretty standard floor plan and giving it a nice little professional edge. So let's zoom in to this through. And what I'm going to do is add a little bit of extra geometry. So I'm going to select the line tool and I'm going to connect these two end points right here. So I'm going to follow the red axis and connect one line to the other. And then I'm going to create another line uh, just above where this line here is, where you would connect this line right here. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could go ahead and connect that line as well, but I don't want to. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to connect this line right here, and I'm just going to go uh, just below this line right here where you would connect this. So I'm just going to go just below, making sure I'm following the red axis and there is our additional geometry, okay? Now, we're going to add different tones of this pink shade to create the depth that I was talking about. So let's make our materials tray active. And let's select the sample paint tool so that we can uh, get the color of this through to appear in our materials tray. Here it is right here. We're going to duplicate that. So we're going to select create material and then we're going to name that dark pink. And then, okay, we're going to select the edit tab. Then we're going to select the color wheel and we're just going to bring the slider down a little because all we're going to do is change the tone. This is the quickest way to do this, okay? Now, I obviously, being really picky, know the exact RGB that I would like. And you know what? I've actually already been able to do that uh, by choosing the correct position on the slider. Wow, I don't think I could do that twice. Um, so I'm going to click on that material and apply that darker shade to this face right here and this face right here, okay? And then I'm going to create a duplicate of this again. So I'm going to select create material and then I'm going to name that midge pink and then I'm going to select okay. I'm going to make sure I, I click on the edit tab, then I'm going to select the drop down arrow and click color wheel. And this time I'm going to go a little bit above where the current selection is on that slider. So let's just go above that. You can see that change right here. But yes, as you guessed, I do have a specific RGB of that. And it is actually 
191 and 156 and 156. Okay, I'm going to click on that material and I'm just going to zoom in a little and I'm going to click that face right there and this face right here. And then I'm going to remove visibility of the materials tray. And I'm going to click on my scene. If you don't have any scenes created, you'll not have to do this. Um, I'm going to click on all four of those lines that I created and I'm going to hide them because I don't want them to be visible. And this is how you will appreciate uh, the difference the little bit of shading makes. So I'm going to click one of the lines, then press control so that I can make duplicate selections. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm going to go to edit or not edit. No, I am. I'm going to go to edit and then hide. And then I'm going to update that scene. And you can instantly see, and I'll just zoom in so that you can get a good look at that, that we have created the illusion that the throw is being draped on either side of the bed because we have added different tones of the same color and right here it's a little bit darker and it's a little bit darker right here because that's how it would look in real life if you were looking down on that um, from up from above and there you go guys that's how simple it is to add depth to a 2d symbol in SketchUp